Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am revisiting an old friend, Red Door Revealed by Elizabeth Arden. I bought this fragrance about a year ago, more than a year ago, and it was an impulse purchase. I bought it right away after watching a review or a video by Charlotte Ross, and she described this one as her horror story fragrance. I had to buy it and smell it for myself and find out if it really did smell like how she said it smelled like. I did an unboxing, first impressions, and mini review of this fragrance a year ago, so I'm gonna link that video down below and put a card up above as well so you guys have an idea why I bought this fragrance, what I thought about it, and today, as I said, I will be revisiting and I will be smelling this one so surprisingly i did a lot of declutters but this one stayed in my collection because i was just curious to find out if this one really smells like how it smelled like it could have been you know the power of suggestion and all of that so it's an experiment so that is why i still have this in my collection and honestly i didn't really want to give this fragrance to someone else given that i bought it for a very weird reason so Red Door Revealed was released in the year 2003, and this is a flanker of the famous Red Door line from Elizabeth Arden. And this one is categorized as a floral, lily, rose, fruity fragrance. This one has notes like peony, orchid, and pear. In the middle, this one also has Bulgarian rose, lily, plum, gray flower, orange blossom, and yellow champaka. In the base, this one has quiet wood, musk, black amber, and oak moss. Looking at the notes, I don't really see how this fragrance can smell other than a beautiful fruity floral and how this fragrance smells like farts and bad breath as some people describe this one. So there is a ton of reviews about this fragrance, mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some people adore this one. And some people, unfortunately, this fragrance didn't work for them. And Charlotte Ross was one of those people where she got that very indolic, animalic, and very unpleasant scent. And I was one of those people too. That's why I wanted to revisit this one and see how I feel about this a year later. Spraying this in the air, you guys, this one is a really nice fragrance. And I said that last year as well, that in the air, this one smells like that beautiful lily and I get those other florals as well. I get fruity notes. It's just your quintessential fruity floral fragrance. I didn't get anything that smelled weird. And I sprayed this on paper today and it smells really nice. It smells the same as it did in the air nice fruity floral i get a lot of lily in this fragrance it's more peony and lily i don't get a lot of rose though it's there but it's more like a very soft pink rose is i get that warm musk and that beautiful guaiac wood so i don't really know which notes or how this fragrance turns into something that people can only describe as something that smells like farts and bad breath so i was one of those people that got that very nasty and weird scent in the fragrance somewhere in the middle and somewhere in the deep dry down i suggest you guys to watch the first video and charlotte's video as well for this video to make sense i think i described that indolic quality or indolic scent in the fragrance as something that smells like you know when you smell an old dried up toothbrush or it's that scent where you've had your mouth shut for so long and then all of a sudden when you talk you smell that nasty kind of smell in your breath that is the scent that i get somewhere in the middle and it dry down and i don't understand based on the notes which notes could give off that scent it could be black amber it could be oak moss it could be the guaiac wood but, you know based on the top notes and the middle notes i don't get that for example in lily i'm not really so sure i'm not really familiar with the champaka flower or the yellow champaka so it could be that note it's really interesting because as i first sprayed this fragrance on paper and on my skin yes i sprayed it on my skin i sprayed it in the air just to see how i really feel about this fragrance right now i almost thought that i would be loving this fragrance now a year later because i didn't get that nasty scent immediately so just as i was enjoying this fragrance i was immediately hit by that strong scent of bad breath it breaks my heart to say that i still get that scent in the fragrance i still get that weird note in the fragrance and you know i kept it for scientific reasons and i kept it because i didn't want to give it to someone else when i felt like this one smelled of something really weird so i don't want to give away a fragrance that had that scent in it but right now it's confirmed that i still get that scent in the fragrance i hope i am not offending those who really love this fragrance because as i said 
based on the fragrance check reviews a lot of people rave about this fragrance and i get it it's a nice peony and lily fragrance and i get that pear as well and hint of pink roses beautiful fruity floral with that musky base but then on my skin and on paper on my nose i get that very weird scent so a year later even though this one still smells like how it smelled like um i kept this inside the box and in my drawer um i think i'm gonna put this on display for you know i don't know for fun's sake but yeah this one still smells like how it smelled like a year ago to my nose and i thought i wouldn't be getting that weird scent but i still do um Aside from that weird scent, this is a nice fragrance as I mentioned. So if you own this fragrance, Red Door Revealed, let me know. Like, do you like it? Have you tried it? Like, do you get that weird scent in it? This is just an update of a fragrance that I did a first impression of a year ago. An impulse purchase that I bought because it had a very weird note, a very weird accord that I had to try for myself. And unfortunately, I still do get it a year later. So this is Elizabeth Arden's Red Door Revealed EDP. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you own this fragrance, if you've tried it. If you've seen my video last year, let me know as well. And for those who haven't seen that video, I'm going to link that video down below so you guys understand um, what I've been talking about this fragrance and why I got it. So yeah, thank you for spending a big chunk of your day watching today's video. As I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.